न्यूज पेपर प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन ऑल द प्रिपरेशन एंड स्पेशली बिकॉज यू हैव टू कोरिलेट थिंग्स विद करेंट अफेयर्स राइट बट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स नॉर्मली इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड आउट वट इज रेलिवेंट इन न्यूज पेपर एंड वट इज नॉट रेलिवेंट इन दैट वे सो विथ योर एक्सपीरियंस वट विल यू लाइक टू सजेस्ट हाउ टू रीड अ न्यूज पेपर so uh, yes i feel that you're right uh, initially i also used to find it very difficult to identify what is right or wrong and i used to spend almost 3 hours on newspaper itself so i feel that uh, first of all as i said identify the syllabus i identify all the topics which are there in uh, let's say the four gs papers or the optional papers and then try to map those uh, uh, topics with the syllabus news so if there is a maybe a news coming on uh, international relations try to map it to the gs2 topic where that uh, news can actually fit in and then leave everything else so definitely we know there are many things which can be left in the entire newspaper be it uh, politics or is it, if it is about let's say sports also uh, but there are some things which are very very important like the business section of the newspaper or the international relations section even science and tech for the prelims uh, part specifically or the data so again we can look at very small things like collecting the data collecting uh, what is being said by different prominent people and that will help us to cover newspaper in less time and more comprehensively so what comes from your communication is that the syllabus all the segments of syllabus if you are clear about it then you can correlate it well and identify what is relevant for and not relevant for you but if you simply you are jumping into read newspaper to read like a common reader it may not help you so yes. keeping eye on the previous year questions and also on the syllabus the phrases and the words which have been used in different segments that can help you a lot right yes 